hello and welcome to a new video and um, of course a new collection. Um, the collection is called Poppin Blossom and um, also this collection contains um, parts I've created together with Joyce Paul. In this video we, you will not see now her parts because this is only the focus of my uh, packs and um, I like to try to hold it very short this video because um, I'm so tired today. Um, this is the day um, with the corona and um, we get to get today at work um, the announcement that we um, should stay two weeks at home. Um, I try to be positive with it all because I like to create a lot for you and um, I'm, I'm trying to focus on that and um, trying to stay positive. Yes, this is just a mantra. Um, nevertheless, let's jump into the folders and um, let's see what I've created for you. Poppin' Plusin is, is um, some soft, shabby, vintage um, colors with um, some papers and I added a lot of sparkling gems and um, watercolor is in and um, so let's jump into the artsy bits and pieces folder. Um, it's a huge pack again so you really get a lot lot of um, pieces here and as you can see here are the artsy bits they are um, only textures here transparent so they are pretty nice to overlay and combine with each other um, we have some gesso stuff we have here like watercolor and here a little bit of something with uh, with the lilies I think these are water lilies and frames we have a little bit of letters hearts and here are uh, the start here with the gems I just um, already said and here we have also some sparkling stuff with different flowers and um, a bow. Um, a huge set of different um, photographed um, pink flowers here. Some roses also with and without shadow and a lot of greenery I've added. Um, I think it's spring is coming, we need green and especially in this time just we are in, we need green because we need to stay at home and um, I just want to check that one, what happened here, oh my gosh, I just saw that, something happened to that, oh I hope I can fix that, okay. Uh, gesso pieces, frames, gesso pieces, and here we have a lot of sparkling little um, twigs. And I love that one because the turquoise, and I think the turquoise and this gold shimmer just is perfect. We have watercolor, painted um, flowers, silhouettes, however you like to call it. And you can combine it and stack them together and have um, some shadows on, um, between. So um, it, um, it can create really nice um, effects. Um, also here we have some loops, different kind of loops. We have a thread and again some real thick um, paint with a lot of um, texture in different colors and sequins, splatters and now we have kind of veneer greenery in different colors. This is um, green, blue and then we have some real veneer like that one. So we have that all. A lot, lot, lot of flowers and a lot of different um, Yes, greeneries. So this is, is the huge pack of the artsy bits and pieces. And um, yes, a lot of 
um, a lot of the um, um, elements to have shadow versions. So they should really, you should really have a huge pack now uh, again in your stash when you um, um, buy this collection. I'm so sorry, I can't really um, speak English today. It's I'm so tired. It's I'm overwhelmed from all. It's um, really it breaks my heart what happens just all around the world. And I hope you are all safe. And if you need, if you if you stay at home. So tomorrow is my first day that I stay at home for the next two weeks. And um, I was at work until today. And um, it seems that we all need this shutdown to stop this pandemic all around the world and that um, we have so many victims died from that virus. Um, it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm just sorry I'm just <laughs> diving again in this and um, I like to present you here actually my um, collection and um, it's overwhelming. So we have here a, a huge pack of um, crafty art snippets. I still love them to do and um, I want to have them here in this collection because they are really versatile. You can um, put them in, on so many uh, things and of course what I um, realized is that you can easily uh, and perfectly add them to um, some um, easy peasy templates and um, just hold on a second I created yesterday um, a layout I hope I found the right one just here I don't know why it needs that long I don't know why it's black okay here it is okay this is the layout I also have added it at the uh, um, at my Instagram and maybe you saw it already but this is one of those typical um, Project Life um, pages and I like to add a little bit of artsy in it or a little bit of um, yes my style and as you can see here this little sticker here combined with the word art from the collection it's just perfect on those pages and you can um, get out of the box with them. So um, you don't need to be an artsy scrapper to use them. That's, this is what I like to say with that. So you get here um, a huge pack of 11 um, crafty art snippets all with a realistic shadow on it. The um, washies are a transparent so they, when you place them they are overlaid and a little bit of the background will uh, shine through. Um, a lot of or uh, some customers ask for an extra pack again of magic lights and um, this is this is it so this is an extra huge pack with 20 different magic lights and they have a lot of details like that one with the flowers and hearts here there's a lot going on some script a little bit you can see here and um, over here also you can see a little bit of those flowers we have here numbers so it's not a typical magic lights they, for, they come up here so some glows flares I like that one a lot so if you have a sundown or whatever, you place it on top, it will look just fab. And this more looks as um, something like a thunderstorm or lightning. And this is also very psychedelic. So a full set here for you with magic lights. Um, the word arts. I really love to do the word arts. Um, I found this um, font. Um, I bought it a time ago but I stumbled again over it and I like the combination of the um, um, of the words and I have three different 
um, options for you. So we have a gesso, a design and a black version. Um, the black version is also, um, this is how the, it looks like, this is the black, only the words. And you get also here an ABR file that you can stamp around and use it as a, yes, as a stamp. Mm, here it is, ABR file for Photoshop and Photoshop elements. Then we have the gesso version. It's white and there's a little bit of a gesso texture on top of it. That's it. No shadowing, nothing, only just really a nice um, gesso overlay. And then we have the design. This is what you see on the preview. This is here and this is how they look like. I really love the combination of, um, of the um, typo in the background, the, um, here the, the um, yes, it's also gesso but a little bit with our, um, a vintage look. And then the, the word itself, the big one, is a sticker style. And you have 10 different um, word arts here in this collection and in three versions plus an, a stamp or, um, for Photoshop and Photoshop elements. So today is the day, beautiful symbols. So we start from the new here. Rise and shine, this rise and shine was the one I used here uh, in the layout. Oh, I have, no, here it is, where it is? Over here, rise and shine. Okay, so these are the word arts. And now we have the papers. You have your paper mix. You get pattern papers with a grungy overlay some. We have some flowers and some gesso style combined with pattern from the um, top here pattern papers. So everything goes pretty nice together. And we have some letter papers. Here they are this time with um, watercolor texture, or paint. So this here is a little bit vintage. What I love is this one, just because it's turquoise and it's flower and it's vintage. So this is just my paper. Um, maybe I will do the next day's uh, layout video with that one. So okay, so this is the pack with the mixed papers. Then we have the solid papers and here we have this really nice green. I love this color. I'm just a little bit obsessed with the color. I don't know, I guess I bought me some four or five dresses just in this um, colors like this one. And then I bought, um, then I have one in that color and also some a little bit of pistachio, that one. And yes, so um, yes, my obsessed color just this since since last year. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, so we have here the solid papers. We have some white um, textures here and also here's one with um, really this paint. I love this paint. It's just a stroke with a, with a big brush um, and you can see the, the, the dynamic of the brush on this um, paper. Um, so uh, uh, this dark blue is also nice and some pinkish and um, I love this one as well. Um, what you can do when I saw the, the, the texture is if you place um, um, type or type just here following and write some words that they follow those lines that could be really look pretty nice I think maybe that's also a nice idea for a video I need some ideas that I have to something to do for the next two two weeks <laughs> Okay, next folder, we jump now into the Painter's Toolbox um, for packs. 
and we have here a lot of from the artsy bits but transfer, uh, transferred into brushes um, and reduced and whatever I did with them that you can see it and you have those chunky um, textures nevertheless as a brush and a PNG file in black they are all transparent and um, they will look um, pretty nice when you like to do a black and white um, layout and you use those stems uh, you get so many great effects otherwise you can um, use also from the uh, painters toolbox the free um, colors to recolor those brushes and you get really a lot 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 of brushes again and gesso and all those um, flowers greenery stuff as well as a brush and I prepared them that you have really a great contrast the loops are included as a brush we have the splatter, you know, the, the, the greeneries, the, the veneer stuff, everything. And here is the ABR file for Photoshop and Photoshop elements. And all together you get pretty 88 um, different um, black transparent PNG files here in this um, painter's toolbox, brush mix, stamp and brushes pack. That was a long warning. Brush tools. We have a brush tool set. I don't want to demonstrate now um, here in this video. I really want to do tomorrow a, a, a painter's toolbox um, using the brushes video. So you have really a huge pack with different blenders with pattern. You have you can see here drops. Um, this textures here some um, um, chevron uh, flowers. Uh, dots with that so a huge pack um, you can play so pretty nice with that and combine and um, create your own mask you can create your own pattern you can create your own papers with this set again um, let's um, see what I will come up for you um, the next video tomorrow <laughs> so this is the ABR file for you but um, ABR files, dynamic brushes work not in, in older versions of Photoshop. That means you need to have Photoshop 6.0 and higher and I think it will work with Photoshop Elements 12 and higher. All older versions, I am not sure if they are su su uh, supported. Um, pack with the free colors you get an ASL file for the color overlay so if you want to recolor something these are the overlays and then we have the color styles they are the plain, plain color and they work perfectly with this brush mix for example and then we have the swatches the ACO um, file which you will use you can use in Photoshop and Photoshop elements and this is the free pack of this collection. Then we have the mix of styles. Um, flowers, cardboard, peel, wall paint, watercolor paper, vintage, roses, um, gesso. Here different gold shades. It's not really this... Um, glamorous gold I, I created in for this collection it's more a little bit of dirt a little bit vintage gold um, if you see it's a, such old chandeliers and they have this black um, patina is it called patina in English I don't know, in English I don't know so this little bit dirt look this is what I wanted to have to reach with my styles in this so I don't want to have this glam gold in it um, yes, we have some solid um, textures here as well. We have a lot of different textures like gesso, watercolor, and those roses, um, cardboards and different um, um, colors. Uh, and um, you get here an ASL file with all the different styles here. They work in Photoshop and Photoshop elements. 
So the next pack, we have now the the templates, and if you buy the bundle of the templates, you always get those extra four templates. And this time, I created some kind of um, project life with an artsy twist. So these are masks and overlays. You can place your um, your image just behind them and uh, place on top different um, with different um, settings. Just open that one. Open. Oh, it's the JPEG. <laughs> Where is it? Hello? No, this one. Here's the PSD file. The computer is really lame today. So we have here these different things here. And if we want to add, I'm just. Just steal this photo. One, only one photo. So just hold on. It's nothing prepared here. Just again. So we go here into the mask, and we took this couple here, and we clipped that. And now it's just placed just between between the mask here, mask one, and the overlay one. And the overlay one is here. Um, with the color burn setting, but you can also go to multiply or you can go to linear burn. So you can see that the frames, the overlay frames change. The lightning just takes the whole um, image away. With the overlay, you really get those bright colors brighter and the darkest darker. So this also creates a nice effect here. Um, yeah, um, then we have, let's take that one, no, I need to, okay, this is the photo, let's create, and we have here of maybe this, you can, you can use it in different ways, oh gosh, I'm tired. I'm sorry. So it's now clipped on the overlay. And then you can, the mask, for example, you can add here, then one of the styles. So this is how it can look. Or we change the style, we use the cardboard. But I think that was one just was just awesome. Also, that one is nice. Oh, this is not included. It's already preparation for the next collection over here. So you can see a lot of different ways to use this, those kind of um, templates. Of course, you can add here then word arts. I wanted to keep it short, this video. It will never happen. Never ever it will happen that I get a short unpacking video done. You can add it here. Just over here. Also here we have, and then add here one of the styles and then another style. So this is how you can do it and use those kind of um, Project Life pocket page um, templates. And of course, you would go back to the folder. Extras here. You get four different ones. So you have this one, this is the PSD, and this one. Um, and this is also one, and a full page with um, one frame on top. And um, here's a little snake preview how they can look like with some photos added by myself. Um, this is the extra pack and the extra pack of those four extra templates come with the bundle. So if you buy the bundle, the price is already really um, uh, lower than when you buy them as, as, as one 
a single part. Pax, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> and then you get an extra of templates on top of it. So it's really always a bargain if you buy the, the bundle. These are the layered templates, the weekly templa templates I've created for you. I always think they are so nice and I like this, always this background I, I have with those different watercolor um, um, textures. And this is how they can look like. You can add really so nice things in the background and they blend so nice into, into the pages and it, um, it gives the whole page such, um, a real soft look. Um, and then you have to focus on your detail photos um, that um, creates your whole page. So this is week 15 and then I'm going to the week 16 here. And this is how it looks like. This is um, the whole page with them. Um, you have here a lot of journaling and then we have here the, uh, again, a watercolor um, texture with here some little bit of crackling um, texture here in the corner and a lot of frames you have. And then we have the week 16. And I've created here one just for two pictures. We have the background, um, blurry, uh, not blurry, but a blending, blending um, a mask. And then we have one frame here on top. And this is how it can look like. I think it's pretty nice with that uh, beach and the waves here in the background and the a soothing um, sky, so that's pretty nice. Week 18 we have here, and also again here a lot of um, framing. Of course you can delete a lot of those frames if you only have two pictures, then just throw away one of those um, frames, just kick them out, and um, but don't forget to save them before that you don't lose the original um, a template so always if you try to throw th something out just um, save it as a new document then you will be safe that you have the um, original PSD file week 18 we have here okay stitching we have here flowers and a nice really nice blending background and it can look like this. I was in totally baby mood when I started to do the previews for this collection because my CT girls, oh, <laughs> it's unbelievable. There are so many little babies coming up and the one gets is pregnant and the other one just got a little, it was too early. It's she's, oh, it's all, I don't know. It's just, I'm overwhelmed with all the feelings and so much going on. Um, yes, so we have a lot of babies smiling and um, they are too cute. So, um, so this is the collection, but my new favorite thing to create are cards. Never thought that I liked and loved to create cards. And um, I wouldn't be me when I... Um, I made re really realistic Polaroid cards for you. I think they are so awesome. I really love, love, love them. And this is how they look like. And um, as you can see, they is just um, the shadowing is realistic. And then we have. So, and you get two versions. We have the three by three and we have the three by four. So the same design, but in two different uh, sizes. And also here you get um, the um, transparent style. They are all transparent. So if you place them, they really, <laughs> when you print that out, it looks like if, as if you have overlaid 
uh, a Polaroid on your uh, layout. And um, I, I had the idea and I never thought that it will turn out this pretty nice. So this is the uh, card uh, pack one. And, and then we have some, the usual cards we have. They are three by three here. We have this, um, yes, square files and you get 10 different designs here with a different word wordings here. And um, I like this captured. If you look at it, do you see all those hands with those um, photos? I really love that. So we have those three by three, and then of course we have the three by four versions as well. So you have those two alternatives, also the 10 designs, and then we have two title cards in six by four. These are those two ones. And um, this is it. We are through and um, so uh, let's stay tuned and I will sure give you some more videos for this collection because I'm off and um, I'm just in the mood of recording. Um, I hope to get some live recording on Facebook or on my Autology um, group. Um, if you like to join, please feel free to jump in. And if you not know how to, to, to follow me, I have always this folder in my um, product folders called all about mbk design double click on it and this is um what i offer and also here if you go here on social channel channels double click on it and you will redirect them to my um my home page and here are the links and you can find everything where you can reach me you can find me on instagram in youtube all the videos i do for you and um pr the shop um blog and here's the anthology facebook group also don't forget to um visit and subscribe to my nbk product catalog um on pinterest i pin there all my products so if you search something this is just the right place to um, to follow me and to um, really find that what you maybe search and it's hidden behind all those huge um, collections not everything is um, added here but most most things so all the words I have word arts I have created the last years are here um, saved so if you search something this is the right place okay so this is it um stay healthy please take care please stay in take care of yourself um we need to take care of the elderly in our com in communities because those are the most vulnerable vulnerably oh God, i can't say that word you know what I mean I'm sure we need to take care and um, God bless you all and um, if you need support if you need something to talk if you whatever just join the lily pet community or my autology group we are there and we like to help you and we we want to stay all together and go through this never seen before crisis all around the world and it will follow us sure not only a few weeks and um, nevertheless we should stay also positive take care of you and we're gonna see us in the next video bye